All right, hello folks. Welcome to CSS E332. Um, this is, in, in this video, I'm just going to show you how to get um, debugging GDB working in VS Code so you can um, take a look at your code and see what's going on in there. So I will start by um, working on simple shell. So I've cloned the repo. Um, I'm at the top of the repo in here. Um, I have homeworks and we're working in simple shell for this case, for this example. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compile um, my target. My target is going to be compiled with a minus ggdb, or G ggdb flag, um, which makes sure that um, debug information is stored in the ex stored in the executable. Um, my executable is simple shell, and I'm just going to pass simple shell dot c. And you can see now that we have created the simple shell um, uh, executable out there. You can see it in VS Code. Next, you can close your terminal. Um, we're going to go to run and add configuration. So run, add configuration. Um, we're going to click on GDB LLDB for C++. And this is going to generate a launch.json file for us. Um, what you want to do is you want to change the name to um, simple shell debug. So we're going to name that. Uh, this, name this configuration just for simple shell debugging and we're going to see later on why. Um, in here we have to enter the program name so um, what I'm going to replace that with is file dir name slash simple shell and take all of that out so um, the program that we want to execute is if I have simple shell oops, open here, I want to, to go to the same directory that sh simple shell is contained in, which is file dir name, and then simple shell, which is the name of the executable that I want to execute. So this will only work if you have simple shell open. If you try to debug and you have launch.json um, open, um, or so the, the, be the, the file in focus, it's not going to work. So you have to have the file in focus be simple shell dot C. Um, we're, we don't have any arguments. Um, you can change stop at entry to true if you want to. I'm going to do that. Um, and we don't need to change anything else. Um, and let's see, I have to add um, something in here. I had a few few things I want to add in here. Um, so MI mode GDB, we have that and we're going to add after setup commands, we're going to add a command called MI debugger path and I'm going to set that to user bin GDB. So Okay, so you add this line mi debugger path either bin user bin gdb. Some of sometimes these are might be generated by default for you. Sometimes they're not. So it depends. So um, I'm gonna. Um, it, it depends on on what you um, execute. I have um, given you a pre-made um, config file, so you can co co copy that from the um, GitHub gist that I'm gonna post in the description of the video. Um, and you can copy it and um, avoid this doing this step and doing some manual entry, but um, you can pretty much follow along in this case and, and it works. So um, we have added this la launch JSON, JSON uh, debug. Now go to simple shell, click on start debugging, run and start debugging, and we see that file they are our name, simple shell does not exist. Let's see what the matter is, file dir name simple shell let's see run start debugging cancel Do -do -do -do. let's see what's going on let's debug this together um launch.json oh i'm missing a dollar sign in here there we go okay so let's go back to simple shell.c and then run start debugging and now it's going to find the file, all right? And it's going to stop at main directly because that's what um, he told it to do. 
um, you can use the command line in here or um, I'm gonna bring this up a little bit you can see the variables in here you have the call, st call stack um, let's step through a little bit so you can just jump over um, certain step over certain things so we have command which is 82 bit we have land of one um, if you want to see the registers you can as well um, but we we're not going to do that for at least for now um, we're going to print f um, do an f gets at this point the program is going to stop working um, waiting for our input so if we do uh, let's break after the f gets okay so let's do dot slash two nine. okay so um, let's go back to the debug console um, we are at command now um, let's move um, to next so let's take a look at command you can see that it's dot slash do nothing and then a bunch of zeros and we don't care about that so we only care about the, the time we hit um, the first zero after the dot slash do nothing um, and then you can keep debugging set breakpoints um, let's see um, gonna, let's break at parsed um, command at zero and then continue um, let's jump into str len so um, now I'm going to choose the step into function. So this is going to step into str land, but because str land is not, um, I don't have the debug symbols for it. Um, it's not going to show up. So um, let's pause it again. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not going to be able to stop it. So let's go back to simple shell.c and continue. Okay, set the breakpoint after that and reset. Okay, so now we reset, so we're not going to be able to jump into str len, um, but we can, we don't have other functions in here. Um, so um, if you want to, um, just wanted to show you in here the debug console, um, let's add void who void and add uh, okay um, let's stop this again once you add something you have to stop it recompile uh, oh I have to navigate 203 simple shell and gddb and then run start debugging again it's gonna break at main and of course I forgot to call foo from somewhere so let's call foo before we get into okay uh, and let's do this let's define x equals to three in here. all right stop again um gcc and run start debugging okay so i'm gonna break at foo step into foo and you can see in here that the call stack has main and foo so you can jump switch between um, the call stacks in here um and um so let's go to foo we have x being zero we haven't executed x equals to three yet so x becomes three and we're going to print f so let's go to the debug console you can see that we are in the line that goes into foo um and we print it to the console um i am in void if i break at the while loop continue executing um Oh, we're getting we're waiting an f gets I think, yeah. So dot slash do nothing. Okay, so let's break in here again. Dot slash do nothing, and again um, we're back into the shell. So again, you can see how the things are going. You can use these um, um, uh, menu items to actually reset, stop, um, continue, uh, step into, step out, um, step over, um, and then um, this is step up, step out. 
okay so if you have any questions let me know but um, that's pretty much it note that this only works so again uh, warning this 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 configuration only works for simple shell um, if you want to create another configuration for the process lab for example you have to create to add the configuration in here so you have to add another configuration um, after this one and then do the other one name equal and so on. all right so that's all for me and I will see you in class.